That little EGR valve on your diesel might be the most controversial component under your hood. Some mechanics swear it's destroying engines, others say removing it will land you in legal trouble. The truth is somewhere in between, and today I am talking about the pros and cons of EGR deletes that you won't get from biased sources. The performance gains are real, the risks are serious, and the long-term consequences might surprise you. Make sure to watch till the end, because I'll be going over the three types of EGR delete methods and which one is causing the most problems right now. All right, let's get started. So what exactly is an EGR system and why are so many car owners frustrated with it? EGR stands for exhaust gas recirculation, and it was designed with one primary goal, reduce nitrogen oxide emissions to meet environmental regulations. It works by taking hot exhaust gases and routing them back into your engine's intake system. This dilutes the incoming air with inert gases, lowering peak combustion temperatures and reducing NOx formation. While this sounds environmentally friendly on paper, the reality is that this system can create a host of problems that dealerships profit from fixing over and over again. The EGR system works by mixing hot exhaust gases with fresh air entering your engine. This lowers combustion temperatures, which reduces NOx emissions. However, this process also introduces contaminants, reduces oxygen content, and creates the perfect conditions for carbon buildup throughout your engine. Now here's where things get interesting. An EGR delete completely removes or disables this system, and the results might surprise you. Let's start with the main advantages of an EGR delete. First up is increased engine power. When you eliminate exhaust gas recirculation, your engine gets access to more fresh, oxygen-rich air. This means better combustion efficiency and a noticeable increase in horsepower and torque. Many drivers report feeling the difference immediately after the modification. But the power gains are just the beginning. The second major advantage is improved fuel economy. Think about it logically. When your engine burns a mixture of fresh air and stale exhaust gases, it's working harder to achieve the same results. Remove those exhaust gases, and suddenly your engine operates more efficiently. Many drivers see a 5-10% to improvement in gas mileage. Third, you'll experience significantly cleaner combustion. Here's something dealerships won't tell you. Exhaust gases contain soot and carbon particles that, when recirculated through your EGR system, coat the inside of your engine with thick, sticky deposits. These buildups reduce performance, increase operating temperatures, and can cause serious engine damage over time. Eliminate the EGR, and you eliminate this problem entirely. Fourth, and this is a big one, you're looking at potentially longer engine life. EGR systems are notorious for failing in ways that can catastrophically damage your engine. Stuck EGR valves can allow too much exhaust gas into the combustion chamber, creating lean conditions that lead to engine knock. EGR coolers can develop leaks, causing coolant loss and overheating. Remove the entire system, and these failure points disappear. Finally, Fewer repairs mean more money in your pocket. How many times have you heard of someone replacing their EGR valve? Or cleaning carbon buildup caused by EGR recirculation? These are recurring problems that generate consistent revenue for repair shops. With an EGR delete, these issues become a thing of the past. Now, before you run to your garage with a wrench, we need to talk about the other side of this modification. The first and most significant drawback is increased emissions. The EGR system exists for a reason and removing it will increase your vehicle's NOx output. This means your car will likely fail emissions testing in areas where it's required. You'll need to factor this into your decision, especially if you live in a state with strict emission standards. Second, there's a real risk of engine knock if the modification isn't done properly. When you remove the EGR system, your engine's air-fuel ratio changes. Without proper ECU tuning to compensate for this change, you could end up with a lean mixture that causes devastating engine knock. This is why professional tuning is absolutely critical. Third, some vehicles may experience slightly louder exhaust noise after an EGR delete. While this isn't necessarily bad, it's something to be aware of, especially if you're trying to maintain a stock appearance and sound. And here's the big one that you absolutely must understand. Fourth, legal issues. In the United States, tampering with emissions control devices is prohibited under law. This means EGR deletes are only legal for off-road or track-only vehicles. If you're caught driving a deleted vehicle on public roads, you could face significant fines. The enforcement varies by location, but the law is clear. Outside the U.S., regulations differ significantly, so research your local laws before proceeding. Warranty avoidance is almost guaranteed. Every major manufacturer may void engine warranties if they discover EGR deletion. Given that modern diesel engines can cost $15,000 to $30,000 to replace, this represents enormous financial risk. 
Last, EGR delete can affect the resale value. Many buyers won't consider vehicles with deleted emission systems due to legal and reliability concerns. Even buyers who don't mind the modifications often use them as negotiating points to reduce the sale price. So how is an EGR delete actually performed? Now, as promised, let me break down the three main types of EGR delete methods and their implications. There are three main approaches, each with different costs and complexity levels. The first method is blocking the EGR system with metal plates. This involves installing plates between the EGR valve and intake manifold, effectively preventing exhaust gas flow while keeping all the original components in place. This method maintains a stock appearance but still requires ECU tuning. The second approach is complete hardware removal. This involves removing the EGR valve, all connecting pipes, hoses, and often the EGR cooler. The openings in the intake and exhaust manifolds are then sealed with appropriate plates. This method is more thorough, but also more visible and harder to reverse. The third method is software-only deletion. This approach keeps all hardware in place but programs the ECU to keep the EGR valve permanently closed. This is often the most effective method and can be easily reversed if needed. Regardless of which method you choose, professional ECU tuning is essential. Without proper calibration, you risk engine damage and poor performance. Let's talk about costs, because this is where the math gets really interesting. A basic EGR delete kit costs between $100 and $600. Even if you pay a professional tuner $300 to $500 for the ECU work, you're looking at a total investment of under $1,000. Compare that to the recurring costs of EGR system repairs, which can easily exceed this amount over the life of your vehicle. But remember, the financial benefits only matter if you can legally drive your modified vehicle where you live. EGR deletes offer real performance and reliability benefits, but they are prohibited in most places, can lead to warranty issues and resale value risks. But now you know the truth. EGR systems aren't inherently evil, but they're not perfect either. They work best under specific conditions with proper maintenance and quality fuel. When those conditions aren't met, problems are inevitable. The choice of how to proceed is yours, but make it with complete information, not the selective facts your dealer provides. So what's the bottom line? EGR delete modifications can provide real benefits including increased power, better fuel economy, cleaner combustion, longer engine life, and fewer repairs. However, these benefits come with the trade-offs of increased emissions, potential legal issues, and the need for professional tuning. If you're considering this modification, make sure you understand your local laws have access to professional tuning and consider whether the benefits outweigh the risks for your specific situation. What do you think? Have you dealt with recurring exhaust gas recirculation problems on your vehicle? Let me know in the comments below. And if this video helped you understand the pros and cons of EGR Delete, please press the like button and subscribe for more diesel automotive content. Your wallet and diesel vehicle will thank you. If you made it this far, I really appreciate you. Until next time.